Uh, my name is Anne. Um, I'm Laura's mentee, mentor. <laughs> well, it, actually, I like we teach each other things. <laughs> um, she's eighth grader here. Um, she's going to um, high school this year. Um, actually, I feel a little bit anxious, like uh, at the beginning when she told me she wants to uh, build a game, because game programming is in fact very challenging and I don't know how to do it. Um, but what, what amazed me is I offered Laura some uh, fundamental computer science concepts like loops, variables, objects, classes, and she used them to make the game by herself. So um, I am inspired by her creativity and diligence. Uh, let's have Laura. Hi, my name is Laura and I'm in 8th grade. So my mentor's name is Anne and she works for Google as a software engineer. And she's from China and came to America seven years ago and attended the University of Washington. She double majored in human-computer interaction and psychology. She likes to read, swim, and solve logic puzzles. So my project is called Dungeon Rumble Remix, and it's a video game that is played on a website. And I was inspired to make my project because there is a game that I've always liked called Dungeon Rumble, and it's a franchise which already has three games out. And it's different than what people would usually think of a video game as, because it doesn't really involve like mindless shooting and. It's a murder mystery simulation game, so um, people who are playing have to use their minds and think about what they're doing. And I chose to make a project on a website because I wanted to make a more accessible version of my game. Because for Dahanomba, it's usually played on a PC or console, and those you have to buy, and you have to buy the game yourself. And so it's very expensive but I wanted to make it on a website so that multiple people could play it and not have to pay anything. And I also wanted to improve my website coding skills since in seventh grade I had learned a little bit about HTML and CSS. So during Magic, I learned a lot of different things and also strengthened my knowledge of a bunch of other things. For, for example, some just a little bit of the ideas and concepts that I learned were HTML, CSS, jQuery, arrays and lists, conditionals, the document object model, variables, functions, loops, classes and IDs, and, and or statements. Um, I learned a lot about debugging since I had encountered problems in the past before in computer science class here at GMS, but having a uh, project where I had to learn a whole other language and I honestly re didn't really know what I was doing half the time, it was very hard for me. And the first thing that I learned was that my project wasn't working because I had it saved. So in the text editor that I use called Brackets, there was something which was supposed to be called an autosave, and I hadn't thought to save it because I thought that the thing that was downloaded already worked, but it didn't. So I saved it and then the code started working. I also learned that I had to define a function before I used it, and I got multiple errors for many different things because the order that I had put the code in was not correct. Um, I also learned how to use the console, which is when you right-click on the page and you can go to a specific part which tells you if there is an error or if you can also use the console log to see if a specific chunk of code is being run or not because it will display a certain text message. Um, and of course, uh, I had to look out for typos and silly mistakes, such as like forgetting semicolons at the end of a statement. And I also definitely learned to be patient because it was very hard sometimes to keep on going when it really didn't feel that great. But it got easier after a while after I got more familiar with the languages that I was using. So, um, in my game, there are multiple pages, and so this is the starting page, and it just has a little bit of information about how the gameplay works, 
and the gameplay is actually quite complicated and I'll probably explain it in more detail at my table after this. And then um, this video game called Danganronpa is set in a specific story and in order to make a little bit of sense with the game you have to know a little bit of background about the story and so here um, I had a little bit of background about the story that I made and so the gameplay is there is a sprite in the center and the person who changes based on who's saying what and there are five lives on the top so you have five chances before you lose the game um, this is the name of the character who's being displayed in the center and the way that this game works is that you cycle through by clicking on this piece of text and it goes through a loop that repeats until you lose all of your lives or you win the game and um, each one of these is a different piece of evidence and these statements um, that are cycled through there's an error in one of the statements and in order to find the flaw in the statement you have to choose one of these five pieces of evidence select it and shoot it which basically selects it as the answer that you choose and there are three rounds of the game and you can either win or lose and there's also a button to restart Thank you.